Hello viewers, all of us travel by road almost every day. You must have seen that the road comprise either of black color or gray color. This is made by use of stone chippings which are bound together by a suitable binder. Most of the time the binder used is a bitumen which is obtained from the petroleum refineries as a byproduct material. Bitumen is available in number of grades. The choice of grade is dependent on the surfacing type as well as the climatic conditions. The grading is done on the basis of its consistency. The consistency is determined by measuring penetration of bitumen. Penetration of bitumen is the distance traveled by a standard needle of a specific size, weight and shape under specified condition of time and temperature in one tenth of millimeter. In this program, we will see as how we measure the penetration value of bitumen. We need a simple instrument called pentrometer for this purpose. This is a manual type pentrometer. It comprises of a metal base, a weight and a carrier. The total weight of this carrier assembly including that of the penetration needle is 100 grams. It has a release knob. As we push the knob, the assembly is released and as we take out the pressure, it is locked again. At the top, we have a dial which is graduated in one tenth of millimeter. If you are using a manual model, then we need a stopwatch which is accurate to measure up to one tenth of a second. We also need a container to place the specimen. The diameter of the container is 55 mm and the depth is 35 mm. A steel or aluminum container is suitable for this purpose. The penetration needle is a straight edged and highly polished needle made of hard steel. The dimensions are as shown. You have just seen a simple manual type pentrometer. There are different models available with additional facilities. This is a totally automatic pentrometer. It has a automatic pentrometer timer which enables the load to be released exactly for 5 seconds. When we conduct the measurement, switch the instrument on and operate it to release the load exactly for 5 seconds. The advantage of such type of instrument is that any error on account of measurement of time is eliminated because the load is released exactly for 5 seconds. Therefore, we obtain more precise values of penetration. It has a spirit level at the base to ensure proper leveling. The instrument also has finer control for vertical movement of the total assembly. This enables the needle to be perfectly in touch with the bitumen surface while carrying out the test. We also need a water bath that can be maintained at 25 degree centigrade. 
Heat the bitumen to a temperature about 90 degrees centigrade above the softening point. Stir to make a homogeneous mix and remove air bubbles. When it is sufficiently heated, pour it into the container and allow it to cool in air for one hour. Meanwhile, switch on the water bath and set the temperature to 25 degree centigrade. Place the sample in water bath for one to one and half hour. Having placed the bitumen sample in water bath for one and half hour ensures that the whole of the sample is uniformly at a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. Now, bring the specimen at the base of the pentrometer, take a penetration needle and clean it with benzene. Now, this is a cotton dab which is dipped in benzene, dry the needle and fix it in place. The needle assembly should have free movement and if required we can slightly lubricate. Now place the sample below the needle and bring the needle in contact with the top surface of sample. Now, this is quite an important step because we must ensure that needle should just be in contact with the surface and does not penetrate initially. To do that we use fine adjustment screw and observe that image of the needle and the tip just coincide. Now, the sample is ready for testing. We will allow the needle assembly to penetrate for 5 seconds, which can be done either manually or using the timer. Now, in this case, we will use the timer to remove any human error. The instrument, the timer is switched on. Note down the initial reading and operate the timer. Now, after 5 seconds, it automatically gets locked and we can note down the final reading. Bring it in contact with the surface of needle assembly and note down the final reading. For each sample, we must conduct at least three tests at different location in such a way that every point is at least 10 millimeter away from the previous point and also 10 millimeter inside the boundary of the container. So, now we take the needle out and clean it again 
with benzene make it dry note down the initial reading and repeat the test. So, here we will take three readings and the average of these three readings is taken as the penetration value of the bitumen sample. The penetration values are helpful in either ascertaining the grade of the bitumen or to use this as a tool for the quality control measures. IS 73 has specified different penetration values for different grades. Now, we can compare the specified values corresponding to the grade that we have tested. Now, in this case we have used S 65 grade and the penetration value observed is 69 that is well within the limits specified by Indian standard code. So, we can conclude that this specimen satisfy the criteria of penetration and is good for construction. Similarly, we can conduct other test and in totality we can conclude that the given bitumen sample is fit for construction or not. Thank you and see you in other programs for other tests. Thank you.